So I just did a quick cover of the opening of a tune called Who Would You Like to Be by uh, Jonas Talborg, Sean Lane and uh, I think the Vinnie Akram brothers, well I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that. So it's kind of fusion of kind of like funk, jazz fusion and um, yeah, Indian traditional music, uh, South Indian I think. So there's two fills in particular that are kind of interesting. Rhythmically, and the scale is really interesting as well, the note choice. So, um, yeah, so the first fill. What's going on there is you're losing two notes each time. So the first time, then the next time you actually lose the first two notes. So instead of hearing, it's just and then it loses two notes each time. So, and then the second fill, which is um, a little bit more interesting rhythmically because it's a little bit more diverse, it's not as simple, it's, um, so it's still the same thing melodically, right? You're losing a note off the start each time, but rhythmically the rests are slightly different and it makes it a bit more exciting. So this kind of reduction idea isn't really um, that common in Western music. Um, like the Cloud Kicker and Mashuga stuff I've analyzed before, things tend to grow rather than shrink, right? So it's not a, it's not a big difference, but um, it is a possibility when you're writing riffs to kind of like make it a little bit more interesting by shrinking them rather than growing them. Um, there's only two bands I've heard these kind of things played explicitly. Um, if you have any more examples, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. But there's a Freak Kitchen with Matthias Eklund. Um, again, no guarantees on the pronunciation there. Which has loads of this um, expansion and reduction stuff on Land of the Freaks. But that's because he played with Jonas Helborg, right? So it's more of the same kind of source, right? It's the same same musical ideas from the same people in a way. Um, but yeah, Tear Gas Jazz in particular has some really crazy expansion and reduction stuff that's worth listening to. Um, and the other one is one particular Meshuggah riff off Neurotica. You can kind of hear as a reduction riff, right? Although it's a little bit, again, there's a little twist in the tail there with the note choice changing. really cool about Who Would You Like To Be, the song we were discussing at the start, is the scale choice, right, or the note choice in general. So when you listen to that song and you try and figure out what's in it, I'm like, well I hear E as home, it's definitely got a flat second, it's definitely got a major third, sharp fourth, natural fifth, flat sixth, major seventh, root. So it's a seven note scale, but the notes are really weird. They're kind of like Lydian flat two, flat six, you know, um, and it's really tricky to work out how you're going to finger it and how you're going to remember it across the fretboard. Now I'm not great at it, but there's a really cool trick. So if you look at the notes of an F blues scale, oops, <laughs> got ahead of myself there. If you take those notes and you Add an E, so a natural seventh. That's actually the scale we're looking for. So you can improvise over this really complicated scale um, by just playing F blues with an extra accidental. Um, you just gotta remember that the E is the real root note. So it's it's just a it's a quick and dirty hack, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy those little musical ideas. Um, I'll put a guitar Pro tab down in the description that you can open with Tux Guitar if you don't want to pay for Guitar Pro. Um, I've got no promises about the notation. There's different ways you could notate it, but I've decided to make it um, as clear as possible where the reductions are happening. So it's a little bit more useful for you to learn from. Um, yeah, hope that was fun.